Welcome back to Pets on Parade. Candy has never met someone that she didn't want to cuddle with or a treat that she didn't like. And Ski, everyone at our shelter just loves this little doggy. This little girl has won over everybody's hearts at the shelter. Now, Candy, sadly, her owners moved and couldn't go to a, went to a place that wouldn't allow them to take her. So they had to surrender her. So they brought her to a safe place, um, which is the Arizona Humane Society, where they knew she would get placed into a, a new forever home. Very important this time of year, EMTs are finding a lot of abandoned dogs. Um, um, out in the heat, empty buildings, etc. So we want to make sure that if you are in a situation where you can't keep your animal, that you please bring them somewhere like the Arizona Humane Society where they can get the proper care and get placed into the proper home. But Candy is great with kids, loves to be right up against you. So if you're going to read a book on the couch or watch TV or want her to sit on your desk when you're at your computer, she'll be happy to just spend time with you. At seven years old, she's young enough to still have all that fun and excitement of a puppy, but old enough to sleep through the night, learn some new tricks, get come part of the group of the family real quick and not have to go into a whole lot of training once she gets into her potty routine, her feeding routine, and your normal household routine. Just add some love and you're going to have an amazing companion. Candy is super sweet and she is ready to go home with you today. All right, well, sign up now for the Valley's newest half marathon event this fall. Leash up your sneakers or lace them up, whatever, and uh, walk, run, crawl to this year's RWC Half Marathon 5K and Happy Feet Kids Run. It's a great way to get the whole family involved for an amazing cause, and proceeds will benefit the homeless animals at the Arizona Humane Society. That is in October, but you want to register for that now. All right, let's bring on the kitten for all you feline fans out there. We're now going to check in with our kitten cam to see what's going on in the kitten tent. These six kitties never skip a beat, and they don't understand the concept of sleeping in on the weekends, of course. They wake up bright and early and are ready to play. We have Hans and Max that are always challenging each other to wrestling matches. And then Odie likes to watch from all the action from the sidelines. Oscar is on the prowl for mischief constantly. And the two girls, Abigail and Sophia, well... They're quite acrobatic and perform somersaults until they're dizzy. They'll climb the cat condo, and they're just as acrobatic as a monkey. So these, these are good with other pets and kids and are waiting for a home today. Now, if you have a pet that's not spayed or neutered, take advantage of It's Hip to Snip. It's going on next Thursday. You can have your dog or cat spayed or neutered for just $20 if either of our public veterinary clinics. Space is limited, so we recommend you arrive early, but there's more information and pre-surgery instructions at azhumane.org. Well, we wrap up the show today with a Oreo. He would love a home with kids, and this pup is a real party animal. But without exercise, Lisa, this slightly mischievous pup may take it upon himself to relocate your shoes and socks. Oreo is a 10-week-old Border Terrier. So I know everybody's heard terriers called terrors out there. Well, there's a reason. This little guy will run around house, steal every toy that you have, and if you don't have any, he'll find shoes anything he can do garbage they're at that playful stage what we recommend at our patique locations or even our thrift stores is buy a variety of toys you can see all kinds of things here squeezy toys stuffed toys uh, kongs and rope toys tug toys and then what we recommend is to play with one or two at a time and then after a few days switch to the next toy until they are all rotated the South Mountain location. Thanks, Lisa. For more information about the pets on today's show, call the number on your screen or visit that website that you see there. Everyone have a great weekend. We'll see you next week with more Dogsville Pets.